Hey Leo Collective, what's up y'all? Welcome to the channel, welcome back if you've been here before. Thank you so much for joining me or joining me again, I miss y'all. I'm back with a reading. <laughs> Take what resonates, leave what doesn't, flip the roles if you need to. It could be past, present, or future energy or someone else around you I'm picking up on. We're using what's the tea, what's the vibe. And I'm also going to clarify with the evil eye oracle to see like deep what was going on when I pull these cards. Okay, Spirit, what are the messages for Leo? We have bad habits, drugs, addictions, and toxicities. You could be dealing with a Capricorn or you could have Capricorn placements in your chart. That could be you struggling with addiction. I don't know. But somebody is. Somebody got some bad habits. I just heard overdose. Somebody need to be careful. Y'all know they put in fentanyl and um, weed now. So people need to be careful. We have obsessive lover, dangerous, toxic, unhealthy, possessiveness, and karmic. You got a strong Capricorn energy coming through. Yeah, somebody is in harm's way. And this person is obsessed with you. Maybe this person's addictions came between you two. We have travel. Okay, somebody could be traveling. This person could be at a distance from you. Or maybe you're moving to get some distance between, put distance between you and this person. Just one more card, please, Spirit. Just one more card. One more card. We have Shine. Your light irritates their demons. And I'm going to take this one at the bottom. And it says always partying. Yeah, somebody got, a, somebody got an issue with like gambling, drugs, sex. Like somebody is doing something to the max. They don't have any um, balance, any control. They don't know their limits. Could be a Sagittarius. This is giving me either Leo or Aquarius. So you could be dealing with another Leo or Aquarius. It says shine your light irritates their demons. Somebody here is struggling with addictions and they're upset with you because you are um, thriving. You're thriving. Okay. Some of y'all could be going to a lot of parties too. Y'all might be getting into a lot of different events here with friends and family. Moving around, traveling, like just keeping busy. Show me bad habits. What's bad habits? Seek someone to perform or learn to do a hex-breaking ritual. Wow, this person could be under some kind of spell word. Gemini energy. That's just what I pick up. I don't know why, but I do. Um, you might need to see somebody that is into this type of thing. That ain't my area of expertise, but... Um, you might need to remove a hex to get this person's energy up out of your energy. Because I kind of feel you want to move forward, but they're holding on to you. Others of you, the person that you're connected to, they're under some kind of hex. And this is the reason why they can't break free from these vices that they have. Okay, Spirit, what is obsessive lover? This person wants you to themselves. If they can't have you, nobody else can. I think Cancer got that. What was it? Who got that? Okay, Gemini. Mm, I said it could be a Gemini. Gemini got the message, if I can't have you, nobody else can. So we have, they talk about you behind your back. <laughs> that's that's Libra Christ, Gemini energy for sure. I don't feel like this person talks bad about you though. They're obsessed with you. It's like people may be like, why are you still talking about Leo? Leo don't even want you anymore. There's a love-hate relationship here. Because the devil is love-hate relationship. And both of these are giving me the devil. So this could be an air sign. Travel is stalker. Spying on your social media in reverse. Some of y'all have blocked this person. You don't want anything to do with them. They're trying to look you up on social media, but they can't because you have them blocked. And you know, like on Instagram, once you block one profile, they can't create another one. Because I think their IP address is registered and um, Instagram won't allow them to follow you from fake bogus pages. Yeah, this person, they, they are trying to get to you, but I feel like you either move or you're blocking them. They don't know where you are. Show me shine. Your light irritates their demons or they feel like they can't get through. Spirit could be, in block, could be blocking them as well. Unintentional. They don't realize they are sending you the evil eye words or actions. And probably not because this person is not in a clear headspace because they're under the influence of some stuff. What's always partying? Mercury retrograde. Mm, baby, they coming back. 
Mercury retrograde is when your your exes pop back up, communication issues. Anyway, it says delays, problems, interruptions with transportation and communication. Remember I told you they could be blocked? They feel like you're always partying. They feel like you don't care about them. And it's because spirit is blocking them though. Spirit is blocking this person from being able to get to you. And you're staying busy with your own life. We are secretly jealous and hating on your romantic relationship. They don't want you to move on. Spiritual cleansing. Perform or learn how to do an egg cleanse. So some of y'all need to do an egg cleanse. I don't even know what the hell that means. But that's what y'all need to do. I don't get into all that stuff. Because I just trust in spirit. And I know I'm protected. But anyway, let's get some tarot. Three cards. Four cards. Whatever you're going to give me, spirit. Poor Leo. Ace of Cups, you got a new love coming in, but this person is trying to block it. Others of you, this person, I mean, this might be for all of you. Your ex wants to pour out their heart to you. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, they still have love for you. They're still holding on to hope that <laughs> they can get you back. I don't know why they come out every week, every single time I do a read for y'all. We got the Justice card, Libra Energy. We got the nine of pentacles. See, this is you having fun, being sexy, single. Some of y'all could be influencers. You could be content creators. Virgo energy, you could be on a Leo Virgo cusp. Libra is here. We got the eight of swords and we got the queen of wands. See, the card that almost came out for you was um, queen rising. And I look at that as the queen of wands. And it came out anyway. This is Aries energy. And we have the eight of swords. Gemini energy. So somebody here really does feel like they want to talk to you, but they're insecure and they're blocked. And I feel like it's spirit blocking them because this person, although they may not have bad intentions for you, it says unintentional. I don't think they're really wanting um, to hurt you, but in, unintentionally they could be. You know, people do spell work by the way they think, speak, behave. You know, they're talking about you behind your back. I don't feel like it's bad though. I don't. I'm seeing somebody want to apologize and right their wrongs here. They want to compromise with you. But they feel like their hands are tied. The Ten of Wands is showing up here. Sagittarius energy in the full. So this person feels like they know it would be like a, a long shot to get you back, but they still want you back. They're acknowledging that they put you through a lot, that you were the one carrying the weight, and the relationship was one-sided. They took you for granted. And they also feel like you're moving on, and they don't want you to. Four of Pentacles, they're holding on to you. Could be a Capricorn, Aquarius, or Sagittarius. Lord, let's get some messages from this person. Or maybe even somebody new. Some of y'all could be meeting a water sign. Somebody really balanced. Somebody really financially stable. Um, but they might be a little bit shy to speak up to you because you come across so confident. You're comfortable in your skin. Queen of Wands is like loud and proud in your face kind of energy. Confident, self-sufficient, and independent. I feel like some of y'all are in the limelight, spotlight. It says your, your light irritates their demons. I feel like you make somebody feel very insecure. Mm -mm. They could be... Okay, this person could be trying to bind you to them. It says unintentional. The Eight of Swords can be a binding spell. Yeah, so somebody is like bound to you energetically. Let's see, three cards for Leo. I feel your absence more than I assumed I would. I am an emotional wreck. So they felt like they would easily get over you, but they didn't. <laughs> they feel stuck on you. Four of Pentacles, Eight of Swords. This person is overthinking this. Somebody could be in jail. Mm. I still long for you. Okay, one more. I literally don't know what to say to you at this point. The damage is done. Yeah. And I am going to prove myself to you. So they still hold out hope. They're still holding on to you. Okay, y'all. Those are your messages. Like, subscribe, hit the notification bell, and I will see you all the next time. Peace.